What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A 221002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you're going to learn about the basics of scripting, such as scripting file types, environment variables, comment syntax, basic script constructs, and basic data types. Let's talk about script file type. So a script file is a series of commands that are to be executed by the command line interpreter that are stored in a plain text file in order to allow for a computer to perform a task. And scripting languages that you need to be familiar with in order to pass the A plus exam are as follows. You need to be familiar with the Windows batch file, PowerShell, VB script, Linux shell script, Python, and JavaScript. Now you just need to be familiar with them. You don't have to be experts with them. You just need to know the basic of the basic of the basics when it comes to it. And this little handy dandy chart will help you to understand the basics of the basics of the basics. And you can pause this video or you can go visit my website where the information for this particular lesson is posted and get your learn on to your heart's content. Let's talk about environmental variables. So an environmental variable is a dynamic name value that can affect the way running processes will behave on a computer. They are part of the environment in which a process runs. So for example, a running process can query the value of the temp environment variable to discover a suitable location to store temporary files or the home or user profile variable to find the directory structure owned by the user running the process. Let's talk about comment syntax. So in computer programming, a comment is a programmer readable explanation or annotation in the source code of a computer program. They are added with the purpose of making the source code for humans easy to understand and are generally ignored by compilers and interpreters. The syntax of comments in various programming languages, it can vary considerably. Comments are sometimes also processed in various ways to generate documentation external to the source code itself by documentation generators or used for integration with source code management systems and other kinds of external programming tools. Basic script constructs. So all computer languages follow strict command structures and syntax. And while shells take away some of the burden, syntax still needs to be correct. So the first one we want to talk about is basic loops. So basic loops enable code to run as many times as needed until the condition is no longer true. In Java, there are three kinds of looping. You have a while loop, a for loop, and a do while loop. And other languages have similar looping logic. And to learn more about looping, you can go check out my video titled Programming Organizational Techniques and Interpreting Languages in the IT Fundamentals playlist, and that'll be video 4.2. And then we have variables. Variables are used to store information to be referenced and manipulated in a computer program. They also provide a way of labeling data with a descriptive name so our programs can be understood more clearly by the readers and ourselves. The sole purpose of variables is to label and store data in memory. This data can then be used throughout your program. And to learn more about information pertaining to variables, go check out my video titled Data Types in the IT Fund fundamentals playlist and that will be video 1.2. And then we have basic data types. So when writing scripts, coders use different data types to inform the computer about how to process different kinds of data. The basic data types are integers, floating point numbers, characters, and strings. And once again, to get more information about data types, go check out my video titled Data Types in the IT Fundamentals playlist, and that will be video 1.2. All right, so this was a very quick video where we talked about scripting file types, environmental variables, comment syntax, basic script constructs, and basic data types. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, drop a comment, hit the share button, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also, go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A+. 221002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.